Hi, this is Chang-Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. In our flowchart series, we briefly go over systematic approaches for cath lab emergencies. Today, we discussed an algorithm for no reflow uh, taken from our um, how to handle no reflow video. I've included the link to the full video in the section below. Okay, so uh, when you have a no reflow situation, uh, the first thing to do is to try to figure out the cause. Uh, in a STEMI situation, uh, the most common cause is embolization uh, caused by uh, disrupted uh, thrombus embolizing downstream and clogging the arterioles and smaller vessels. A similar uh, phenomenon can happen in PCI of disease uh, saphenous vein grafts or in uh, atherectomy cases where debris uh, can embolize and clog up the downstream vessels. The mainstay of treatment are vasodilators. And here, remember that nitroglycerin, uh, which is often used, is actually not very effective at uh, treating uh, no reflow. Uh, IC calcium channel blockers are effective. Uh, I typically use IC nicardipine at boluses of 50 to 200 mics, uh, depending on the patient's blood pressure. Uh, the pre-administration of IC nicardipine may actually have some effect uh, in reducing the incidence of no reflow in rotoblader and saphenous vein graft cases. Uh, IC adenosine uh, is also useful, and there is some evidence that IC epinephrine at doses from 50 to 200 mics uh, could be uh, effective. But uh, I am uh, particularly fond of IC nitroprusside, uh, which I have found to be very effective uh, in uh, reversing uh, no reflow. Um, there is actually a, a meta-analysis that suggests that IC nitroprusside uh, may be effective in reducing MACE in these cases uh, compared to uh, non-nitroprusside uh, agents. And also remember that in cases of especially severe no reflow, you might need to uh, infuse the medications via a distal microcatheter. If you just infuse it through the guide, uh, the medication uh, may not actually reach uh, the distal vasculature. Um, I will generally add a glycoprotein a 2B3 inhibitor in a no reflow situation, and that's to reduce the likelihood of, of forming microvascular plugs of platelets in the clogged microvasculature. Well, the other possibility uh, is an accidental air embolus. Um, I actually did a whole video about this, but the, main, the mainstay of treatment here is immediate administration of 100% oxygen, as well as forceful injection of intracoronary saline uh, to push the bubbles through. Aspiration, especially for large and proximal bubbles, and the administration of vasodilators are also useful for um, air embolus. All right, um, the other major cause of no reflow is a dissection. Uh, for stent and balloon dissections, the treatment is easy. You've already got a wire down, so just deploy an overlapping stent to cover the dissection. Uh, make sure your stent ends in healthy tissue uh, well beyond uh, the end of the dissection. On the other hand, um, if you had a guide or wire dissection, it can be a lot trickier. Uh, you'll need to get your wire back into the true lumen and deploy uh, long stents. I've done several other videos uh, about how to deal with this. Other possibilities. Uh, devi uh, device or wire thrombosis is possible. Uh, this is usually due to a subtherapeutic ACT or, or more uh, rarely hit or a heparin-induced thromb uh, thrombocytopenia. Make sure you check that your IV line is working. This is especially true if your ACT does not seem to bump uh, despite more and more heparin. Consider uh, adding a 2B3 inhibitor or switching to bivalirudin. For possible hit, you'll obviously need to have to stop the heparin and um, switch to bival. Uh, this may also be the one scenario where uh, bailout aspiration thr uh, thrombectomy uh, could be useful. Uh, severe coronary spasm can cause the appearance of no reflow, and you treat that with uh, vasodilators. And finally, pseudo lesions uh, due to vessel straightening by your wire uh, can cause no reflow in especially torturous vessels. If it's okay to pull the wire, uh, then just pull the wire and give uh, vasodilators and reassess. If you cannot pull the wire, then exchange it to a softer wire, and it's such as a SUO03, if you have that available in your lab. Alternatively, uh, you can also exchange your wire to just a microcatheter, uh, such as a fine cross, and reassess whether your no reflow is just due to pseudo lesions. The body of a microcatheter is often more flexible than a coronary guide wire and is less likely to cause uh, pseudo lesions. Thank you for watching.